and hello welcome to this video so I am going to attempt to install git on Windows and, and there are three ways of doing git of course uh, one is to use Windows subsystem for Linux or you use the git bash uh, installer so uh, there are several ways my preferred way of course if you have a Windows subsystem for Linux is to use Windows subsystem for Linux and ignore the command prompt altogether but this one is uh, this version is to install it directly and integrate it into the existing command prompt just as you would uh, do it for Linux now that's the attempt anyway so I intend to do this video live there will be no rehearsal no nothing this is the first time I'm doing this install so first thing first I'm going to download the installer is download uh, this installer git for Windows and I'm going to just uh, open the file it's a 64-bit thing and I'll just open this up. Okay, I will open this. And the obvious is a GNU thing, it's open source, it looks like. Uh, we'll put in git. Okay, explorer integration. Uh, I don't want to do it on the desktop. Okay, I'll leave it in the git. Oh, yes, I like Vim. Okay, let git decide. Okay, so what I want to do here, here is, uh, here is something about adjusting your path environment. Okay, uh, it says. Uh, the first one is use git from git bash only which means you have to open the an, a custom terminal called git bash and you do your git from there not not my favorite here it says git from command line and also from third party software this option adds only minimal git wrappers to your path to avoid cluttering environment you will be used uh, you will be able to use uh, git uh, from git bash, command prompt and windows powershell as well as any third party software looking for git in path so I just I want it in the command prompt okay okay so uh, yeah that's what I want so this one it says uh, use git and optional unix tools from command prompt okay both git and optional unix tools will be added to your path which will mess up a lot of things according to this one I think I, d I don't want to do mess up uh, uh, just yet so I will just leave it as this option that I can use it from the command prompt okay okay so SSH program uh, I'll just use the default one I don't really use SSH that much open SSL thank you okay check out Windows style okay this one I'll just use as a default. Okay, min tty. Git bash will use min tty. Blah blah blah. Git will use the default console window. Yeah, I rather I rather have this one. So it use a win uh, win Windows console. I'll just leave it as set that because I want to run it directly from the console rather than use a terminal emulator. Okay, default. This is the git pool behavior. Uh, I'm gonna use that, whatever it is. Symbolic links. Uh, I'll leave it as default. I'm not sure what these are. Experimental support for pseudo consoles. Experimental built in system monitor. Okay, no, I, I don't want I don't want the thing. I'm not used to that. Okay, so now you just install the thing. Alright, so it will look it looks like it's installing lots of EXEs and libraries. Perl as well. Now that that looks familiar. At least to the, the Linux user. Okay, so um oh Vim. Actually I want to install Vim as well into the Windows command prompt. I'm very used to Vim. Okay. So 
this is a post install script now finish and uh, that should be it and I will be able to do git bash here and I can just do ls exit and this will give me a very simple git okay so anyway the, the git bash will be over here right, I can just open this up it will give me my usual commands vim okay at least uh, that, that installs vim okay let's see whether I have a bash rc file okay looks like I don't I don't have a bash rc file yet uh, let's see if I can make directory here abc so yeah we see that uh, git bash can be launched from the drop down terminal and you'll be launched using cmd here if you exit you will just log, log this thing out okay and git bash will all have the usual the usual bash commands which you should if uh, you're not sure I mean uh, if you're not clear you can do that so vim will be there as well it comes bundled so you can vim bash rc and uh, there's usually nothing here and I, I like to put in my favorite alias l equals to l equals to ls cf it's my favorite alias I'm uh, going to source bash rc and then I'll just type l I can exit I just want to see whether the, the thing works okay Warning, found bash rc but no bash profile. Uh, what's there? Okay, a bash profile was made that uh, that loads bash rc will be created for you. Okay, so basically it just uh, corrects things if I don't have all these files. So if you make the bash rc file without all these others, uh, git bash will just sort, sort everything out for you. So my alias is still there. Okay. And I'm able to use bash without doing the Windows subsystem for Linux. Of course, I won't have anything here like apt, apt get, or pacman. I don't have anything, but at least I have vim, and that that's already very powerful. Okay, so um, is it possible to launch this from the command prompt? Answer is yes, but then you will need to. Um, it looks like you will just need to uh, go all the way to the correct directory okay this one i have to use dir and i have to change directory to uh, some program files and all that okay look my bash rc file is here okay um yeah i have to change directory a few layers up and then i use dir i go to program files uh, that's where I install git dir again and git will be here change dir git dir and then you have this uh, git bash.exe git command.exe so let's try git command.exe or git bash.exe then we'll be taken into git bash if I want to exit, I'll just exit, and that's how we do it from the command prompt. Of course, uh, you you can actually uh, uh do the shortcut. You know, you can do the sh you can do shortcut. Okay, so let's chdir chdir uh two layers up dir. Let me go to users. Okay, chdr on desktop. Let's try git bash.exe. Okay, uh, looks like you will, you will have to at least have a shortcut here if you want to uh, execute it from this uh, this uh, CMD. And of course, uh, getting getting uh, getting the git bash thing uh, added to the path. I think that is the last option. Uh, when you when you saw that thing. Um, so that that's something I have not done like for safety sake, but um, yeah, I guess 
I can do that. Okay, so to if you want to add it to your your path, so to speak. So I just I'll just clear this part up. If you want to add that to your path, you know, you, you, you should know uh well where to set it. So uh, you can set it manually using uh, environment variables, edit system environment variables. So again, edit system environment variables. This is on Windows 10. I don't know how it changed on Windows 11 or the previous versions of Windows. But yeah, or future versions of Windows for that matter. The, the fact is that you got to change the uh, environment variables. So uh, the thing we want to edit is the path variable here. Okay, this is the path variable for which we will uh yeah we for which we will add the we can just add the new path here program files git cmd okay actually that since that's on the path let's let's go check out that path I'm not really I'm not really sure we need to do all of this chdr dot 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 Oops, DRR. Uh, chdr dot dot DRR. Let's go to program files. Program files. Okay, let's shift tap and tap. Uh, DIR chdr git. Oh, it's not case sensitive. I'm so surprised. DIR. And let's go to command chdr cmd and let's see what's over here. Oh, so it's it's a uh, git.exe. So if we go to the desktop, okay, let me exit this shell. Okay, if we go to this shell and do git.exe. Okay, and oh, basically, it, it, it's able to help you. Uh, yeah, it's already able to help you do this. So, uh, git dot exe status. Oh, status. Oh, okay. So, so this is how you do it from the command prompt. Okay, so you just do git dot exe status git dot exe clone. So wherever you are normally uh, used to. Uh, doing your doing your what do you call that yeah wherever you're used to placing git you just use git.exe it's a little bit tedious but uh, you know it, the thing works okay so let, 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 me, let me check out that, that path variable first okay uh, chdr program files chdr git chdr's command so dr so the, this will be some uh some things here git lfs git k oh let's git lfs i wonder what this is oh it's a local file lfs Uh, oh, it's a large file system. Okay, and git GUI dot exe. So this will give you the. Oh, it gives you a, uh, a GUI version. Okay, so. In short, if you use the the options I did before, uh, you will be able to run git, just by running git dot exe over here. And that, that that's great. Uh you you'll be able to do whatever you need to do. And uh yeah, wherever you, you, you normally use git for Unix uh type or the bash shell, wherever you type git, you just replace it with git.exe and that will be uh, I guess how Windows will do it. Of course uh Vim Vim is not here. And I guess in another video I can do Vim, but at least for now, this is this is how you you do your your git uh, within the command prompt. Okay, thanks for watching.